Hi everyone, I'm Michelle with Baby Lock. In today's Palette 11 video, we're going to talk about antivirus software and how that can impact your Palette 11 from working properly. Let's get started. So we have seen over the last year or two antivirus software becoming more robust and being more cautious about allowing certain softwares to operate well. And what we found is that with pallet software, particularly with those that do the wireless transfer, specifically pallet 10 and pallet 11, it can compromise the ability to make those transfers operate smoothly. It can also cause your software to suddenly open and suddenly close when you have done nothing. You haven't pressed a button or executed a command. When this happens, this can be simply a conflict between the operation of Pallet and the operation of the antivirus software. It's finding something it doesn't like within Pallet and it can shut it down. Now this doesn't only relate to antivirus software, this can also be your operating system. So Windows 10, for example, it has also become more robust, more complete in how it scans the system continually for safety purposes. And we are all about making sure our computers are safe. But we need to know, how do we get past this? Because it's interfering with our fun. We can't use Pallet if something else is interfering with <clears throat> How to allow a program through a firewall will vary by the antivirus software that you own. If you are not comfortable doing this, we highly recommend that you contact your IT specialist or the person that helps you with your computer to be able to understand how to make this happen or how to check this for you. If you are comfortable with this but need some guidance, Many of the websites that are made specifically for your version of the antivirus uh, will have instructions on how to allow an app through a firewall. They call it different things. You can start with that phrase or you can try how to exclude a program from scanning is also another phrase that they use. And this will give you directions on how to take care of this yourself. But again, if you are not comfortable with that, we recommend that you reach out to your IT specialist to have them help you follow up on those settings and allow Palette to operate. Now, I'm going to demonstrate for you where the file is that you need to locate Palette, and that is here through Allow an App Through a Firewall on Windows Defender. I'm going to go to Change Settings. And then I'm going to scroll down until it says Allow Another App. And then I will browse my computer. And I need to find the correct file. So you never assume that it opens to the correct spot when you're doing this. I want to be in the C drive and I want to go to Program Files 86, where I will double left click. I want to find the file Baby Lock. And then I'm going to scroll down until I find palette ver.11. Again, this is under the C drive. So I double left click this, and you'll see a number of folders. This is what we like to call the brain of palette. There's no reason for you to ever come here and open these folders, change where they exist, move them around. This stays constant. You never want to touch this unless you are working within a compatible program such as Programmable Stitch Creator or Font Creator that uses these files for storage. Now, you'll notice that these files all say application. These are the software programs that live within Palette. So for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to allow EMB Edit 
which you can see the file description is layout and editing. We're going to add this to the exclusion on my antivirus. So here it is, layout and editing, and I want to add this. Oh, it already exists in my exceptions, which is great, but if it doesn't, it would simply allow me to load it, and then I would be able to find layout and editing in my list right here. And so on my particular case, it's checked for private and public, and that's fine. And then when you are done, you just say, OK. Now I should be allowed to run my palette without interruption from my antivirus. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please reach out to BabyLock, 1-800-313-4110, or visit us on our Facebook group, the Baby Lock Palette Community Group, and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you and have a great day.